to you by Elevate Women's Health Center in Port Perry and chiropractor Shauna Dingman, Port Perry's only chiropractic and functional health care center focused on women, children, and babies. Don't let health concerns hold you back. Dr. Shauna Dingman, chiropractor and functional health care practitioner since 2000. And Shauna joins us right now. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning. And Scott Campbell from Okami Kai Karate. I love saying that. Karate joins us as well. I like you saying it. I don't know why, but it, it gets me all fired up. I, just, I want to go teach something now. Well, it's almost like it is a move in itself. You know, Karate. You could, you could see it. When you say it, it, it is a move. <laughs> it is. I just have to be very careful I don't pull something when I'm doing it. That's, that's, that's what I was worried about, actually. <laughs> yeah, I better stretch before I do that. Uh, right. So, Shauna, you want to talk about something uh, that's important. I mean, uh, obviously it doesn't affect everybody, but uh, it's affected more people uh, from, I was reading your email, uh, more people than you've seen uh, coming through your practice in the past, and that's uh, people who are uh, are pregnant. Um, and I don't know if that's part and parcel of the fact that we've been spending more time at home or not. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, put it uh, this way, I'm, I'm not shocked that we have so many pregnant women right now, given, you know, the state of what our country's been in, the world's been in for the last almost year. So, yeah, I thought pregnancy is a really great topic to cover right now because there are some, you know, there's some really relevant points to talk about with respect to health in general and chiropractic. Um, you know, chiropractic used to be kind of one of those little known things that pregnant women would seek out. But now I feel like it's becoming very mainstream. I have a lot of people, you know, when I ask them, how did you find out about our, our center? They'll say, oh, you know, I was in a, a mom's Facebook group and I'm having back pain or my pelvis is sore or my upper back is really tight. And I was asking, you know, what do people recommend? And the vast majority of people will say, see a chiropractor which is awesome. Right. Well, because, I mean, you are literally physically changing your body uh, and uh, in some ways, I guess, the body structure as well, or at least the support structure is now going to be stressed. Absolutely. You know, it starts by typically people in the beginning when the belly isn't so big, lots and lots of upper back pain because the breasts are growing. And so you get this change in the whole rib cage area. The other thing is we get this hormone that starts flowing through our entire body called relaxing, which it, you know, designed so that your pelvis can expand in order to accommodate the growing baby. But what it means is that all the joints in the body um, are subject to it. So that can create its own set of interesting issues. So, you know, you've got, it starts with the upper back and then as the baby begins to grow and the pelvis starts to expand, low back pain and pelvic pain is a really, really common symptom in pregnancy. So just finding something that can help to keep you comfortable and mobile and it makes it easier to sleep is really important. We tend to be a, a, a more educated uh, generation in that there, there are so many self-help books and uh, different ways to find out information with you know through the internet etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, do you still find though that there are, are, are women that come into your practice and really didn't uh, know that the changes or understand the, the the true depth of the changes that were going to happen to their body and are just coming in going I, I need some answers absolutely and I Honestly, I think that's kind of by design. I'm not sure if people really understood what was going to happen during pregnancy and especially the birthing process. And then I'll just say becoming a parent. I think a lot of people would not opt for it. <laughs> it's better not to know. Is that that old pain thing where, uh, you, you know, you go through that pain and then uh, the memory gets wiped clean just like a, a, an etch uh, sketch? <laughs> kind of, yeah. I'm not sure if so much that it gets wiped clean, but you just have these incredible experiences as a parent that make it all worth it. And so that doesn't become the focus anymore. What kind of um, nuances are there in dealing with pregnancies and the pandemic? Uh, well, you know, that's a great question because one of the biggest things that I'm seeing that it's a real, not just to do with pregnancy, it's to do with health in general is that, I would say the preventative aspect of, I think, most realms of healthcare has kind of gone by the wayside and everything is very, it's kind of crisis-based or symptom-based. 
So what's happening now in prenatal care is that it's only every other visit that is an in-person visit. So the other visits are virtual visits. So in the beginning, like typically the way prenatal care works is you have an appointment once a month until you hit about uh, the beginning of your third trimester and then you go every other week and then at about 36 weeks you go every week. And it's not until you hit that 36 week mark that your every week visits are actually in person. So until that point, I mean, up until, um, I guess, 28 weeks, when you have only every other visit in person, you're only getting an in-person visit every two months. And from a, you know, a fully preventative and fully health uh, oriented perspective, that's not enough. You know, like, I don't think that it's adequate to have your blood pressure taken during pregnancy every two months. It's not adequate. Right now, they're only doing the sugar testing at about 28 weeks. And it's, I mean, when I had my kids, um, I had midwifery care. And every time I went into the office, I had my blood sugar tested. And I think especially when you're in that 28 to 34 or 36 weeks, that is a really, really important time to be making sure that everything is absolutely on track, in, especially in those two realms. So what I'm really recommending to all my patients is, you know, every time, I shouldn't say every time they come in, but every week when they come in, I'm checking their blood pressure, and I keep dipsticks in the bathroom of my office so that they can dip their own urine and check to see, do we have ketones, do we have protein, do we have blood sugar, or do we have the proper blood sugar levels? So we have to own our own preventative care when it comes to this. Are you seeing a lot of common things like when you have patients that are coming in where, where because of the fact that the doctors, the in-person visits are so sporadic, is there something that you've seen come up more often now? I haven't seen it specifically in my practice, but just again, in the realm of prenatal care practitioners, we are seeing more and more problems with birthing and delivery, stillbirth, it's gone way, way up. So, you know, I see such a small percentage of the pregnant population in our area, right? And I do think that when women have chiropractic care, because sort of the small picture is that they feel better physically, you know, there's just, there's a lot less discomfort. They can go through a whole pregnancy quite comfortably. But the bigger picture always with chiropractic is that when we adjust, we're making sure that the brain and the body communicate as clearly as possible so that all systems work as well as they possibly can. So I I think that women who are under chiropractic care, and I'm not just saying my office, but in any chiropractic office, are probably going to have the potential to be in better health than if they're not getting adjusted. So is, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead, Scott. What kind of things do you do afterwards? So they have this nice, beautiful baby. Mm-hmm. Should there be something that they do after the birth, like as far as regular visits? Or Yeah, for sure. So I always liken the the image of, you know, um, Italian dressing. You know how it's got all those bits and pieces in it, seasonings and stuff like that. And when you shake it up, it kind of goes all over the place. And then as it sits on the table, it settles back down. So after you have the baby, in the first, two to three months, all that relaxin that allowed you your pelvis to expand to facilitate the birth of the baby starts to seep back out. So I always say, you know, it's kind of like you want all the bits and pieces or you want all the joints to settle back into their proper place. We want to make sure that they're properly aligned. So there's that aspect of it. But then the other part is that it's kind of traumatic going through a birth. You know, birthing a human being out yourself, that has its physical trauma to it. So making sure that they are adjusted and comfortable after the birth, but also making sure that, um, you know, as their head is down so much, looking at the baby when they're nursing or bottle feeding, there's so much time spent sitting looking down at the baby that that takes its own toll on the upper back, on the arms, on the shoulders, on the neck. So making sure that all of those things are just it's kind of like doing damage control, but making sure that they can go back into balance as easily as possible. So bottom line in all of this, uh, despite, uh, despite the pandemic, um, is it something that uh, if someone is pregnant, they should just push through and make sure that they are making regular appointments? Is it possible to make 
regular appointments, uh, you know, rather than every couple of months? No, I, I think you are obligated to follow the prenatal program that's set out for you. I think all I want people to make sure that they're doing is advocating for themselves. Like, you can buy the dipsticks on Amazon, and I can post the link on my office Facebook page later on today. Um, but just, you know, buy the dipsticks, and every couple of weeks, just do a dip and make sure that everything is in line. And if you notice something that doesn't match up on the little squares, you make sure you get in touch with your practitioner. Um, any chance you can to take your blood pressure, you know, you can buy a home blood pressure kit. You can buy them from shoppers. You can get them off Amazon. But take your blood pressure and make sure that it's staying within its normal range. I, I think as long as we're doing those things, we're doing as much as we can to make sure that we are advocating for our own health. And your practice is Elevate Women's Health in Port Perry. If someone wants to get a hold of you, how can they do that? They can go to the website, elevatewomenshealth.ca. They can go to Facebook, we're Elevate Women's Health on Facebook, or on Instagram, uh, we're Elevate Women's Health Center. Well, stay well and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, People, uh, you know, and I'm sure, well, you've, you've been busy. And uh, it's, it's been so busy. Yeah, really, really busy. Well, it's a great place to, for people to be able to turn to know uh, that they'll be well taken care of. Shauna, thanks for your time again today. Thanks for having me. It's been great talking to you guys. And this is just for Scott Karate. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. You know, like, honestly, these, these uh, Wellness Wednesdays, some of them are so educational for us. And, and I know, you know, between you and me, we've got no idea what it's like to birth a baby or anything. But didn't you, didn't you tap in on the Italian dressing? Like, didn't you, like, when she mentioned it, didn't you, oh, oh, yeah, I got that. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. <laughs> we were right there at that moment. Oh, you got us. Totally in sync. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting closer anyway. Uh, <laughs> guys, thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you. You take, too. Have take a great care. Day. You too. Bye bye. bye. Well, Wellness Wednesday, uh, Dr. Shauna Dingman. And again, her practice is in Port Perry, Elevate Women's Health. And uh, joining us every Wednesday from uh, Okami Kai Karate is Scott Camp.